McGinty Zoo sign didn't go over well. I thought it was great. It was almost like McGinty Zoo, and there was an arrow pointed that way. I don't know. Oh, I didn't that was remember, great. But You're it, kidding. It last of it. Okay, so you gotta, I got to get a picture of you buying your smoked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you're committing a crime. Isn't he committing a crime there? No, because they do it out there all the time. Okay. Hang on. Yeah, and if other people do it, it can't be a crime. Well, exactly. Exactly. Hang on. So what would you oh, like? just beat that. Full flavor or light? Oh, hang on. What did it do here? Full Hang on. Full flavor. What did it do? Oh. So I just gotta hit this thing. Yeah, the silver button on the top there. So you'd like the bad uh, I, I would like full flavored, sir. That's okay, yeah. you gotta get a little closer, a little closer, a little closer. A little closer, Sorry. Okay, hang on, money, hold it, hold it, hold it, let me frame. I think I got that. How's that? How do I uh... Perfect. We have commerce. We have commerce. <laughs> <laughs> no. As is uh is my keeping up my end of the bargain since you bought a bag of smokes? I'd like yeah. to prepare you a coffee. Oh, I would love a coffee. <laughs> actually, I should put this in my shop. This is actually the shop. This is your shop? The shop, yeah. Well, you know, it'd be pretty hard to burn down while you're driving down the road. Someone asked, why don't you uh, set it up in that trailer? I said, no way. That just makes you the target. Yeah. So. You don't get free coffee with your smokes on the reserve. Well, you, you get, but here at Doug Smokes, you get coffee with your smokes. <laughs> Actually, I've got a bunch of spoons. So maybe I should use the When I sell the cigarettes, I don't charge any tax or unless you would receive. Now, is that wrong? Oh, apparently not, because they've been doing it for a month and a half, and, and, and it's okay, I guess. I thought that was against the law, but maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm wrong about that, because if they can do it there, on Haldeman land, then I can do it here. If I can't do it, then neither can they. It's I just want equality. That's it. I want the law to apply the same to everyone. Now, if those be shocks from Six Nations, that's different. But they're not. They're not on Six Nations. On Alderman property, owned by the bank council. But bank council can buy property anywhere they want. That doesn't make a Six Nations reserve. Why not? Why not? They can buy property in downtown Toronto if they want. That does not make a reservation automatically. Now, it might someday. It could someday, I suppose. Be. Now, because those farms are adjacent to Six Nations Reserve, perhaps one day they may be added to the reserve, but they have not been yet. They are still holding them properly. And actually, just in, in the issue of the, the Turtle Island News, which just came out last week, they say that. The Band Council is, 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 is attempting to get those shacks to go away because they did not uh, get any... Uh, they were not asked if they could put them on there. And they want them to get their shacks off of that property. Now, I don't know uh, how long that might take. I'm interested to see how long it'll take the, um, the OPP to tell me I have to go away. Uh, hopefully sometime soon. Um, are those shacks that he speaks of, are they legal? Mm, on the their business. Well, you're here to ask for questions. I mean, you don't answer any questions here because it's just information. No, no it, please. It, 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 I, you're I, not here just because there's information. Yeah, I just want to know what the information is. Yeah, well, the information was a newspaper. Actually, I should information. <laughs> and you got up early on a Saturday to come out and get information, right? Probably just that. Now this, the top one, is the Fagin Farm, which is on the fourth line. So the owner's name is Your Majesty the Queen, right of Canada. That's Crown Land, that's Six Nations Reserve. These are the two farms where the shacks are sitting. You see the owner's name is the Six Nations of the Grand River Indian Band. So the status, of that's, that is, is reservation. These two aren't. These two are still Haldeman. Until such time, once they become six days of reserve, the owner's name will be.
still don't see what that shirt says. I think they just asked you for money. Some baseball bats and all that. And look at their release, too. Look what we've done to them. <laughs> oh, come on! There he is! Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Come on! Oh, they don't They're my the best, dog! <laughs> well, I, I <laughs> That's two cops he's tried to wave in here. They won't come in. It's too much. You know, we're against uh, lawlessness, and then goes the lawlessness. Oh, it's uh, the Jesus guy again. Careful, don't get run over there. Isn't that the guy? Well, that he's the guy that's trying to cast out demons on. He's the oh, he's, he's the exorcism guy. guy? Yeah, he's the uh, I call him Alvis. Alvis, money here. What's he do? I see you guys are looking at the table. Yeah. Yeah. Oh really? Okay, I'll take the coffee. Normally, when you buy a bag of smokes, you get a coffee. You want a coffee? I have one actually. Cause it's getting, it's getting, yeah, actually, that coffee might be getting cool. I got to send somebody to get some hot stuff. And the pumpkins are free, eh? Well, the, the thing is, is that if you buy a bag, you get a coffee. If you buy two bags, you get a coffee and a Toronto Sun. Mm -hmm. That's the information. If you buy three bags, you get a coffee and a Toronto Sun and a pumpkin. And what's in the Toronto Sun? News. <laughs> So you don't have no information about what you're doing? Well, I, actually, I, 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 I have copies of land registry documents. Oh, okay. 